Yo guys, we guys, it's Ray, I'm back. When I read Red Dead Redemption 2 video, last one's off well. We got a bank loan from, from Getty's uh, distant cousin. And now we put, just purchased Bridges Hub. Well, it's practically a dump. But we're going to work on, I'm figuring out how to quantify it. But speaking of that, speaking of the loan, we have to pay it off. And now we just received word from Sadie Adler, who was in Bla who was in Valentine right now. Wait, where the hell did the pin go? Ah, crap. You know, we just received that word from Sadie that she's in Valentine's Saloon. So we're heading there. Haven't been back to Valentine in ages. Man, were those good times. Good times. Anyways, then we're trying. Let's do this. Come on, lady. Ah, there we go. See, say the other. She says she has some work for me, which we which we can use right now since we need the money. The question is, how much is the bank loan? Ah, boy, this is gonna take a while. I wonder what happened to her anyways. I mean, all we know is that we met with Tilly and Sadie in... I mean, John met with Tilly and Sadie and Abigail and Jack at, uh... What was it? Cophead Landing, yeah. Cophead Landing, ever since after Arthur passed away. Frost his soul. Just 
What's your problem here? Can you please stop, stop now? Uh, I remember when Arthur, Bill, and Javier and Charles were all having a bar fight here. Those were good times. And my drinking buddy Lenny, Lenny, Lenny and Arthur. Oh my God, those were so good times. I really miss those times. Man, what the cat dropped in? Hello, Sadie. Enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Nice coat. Ooh, all that. Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. Hello again, Sadie Adler. John Marston. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. How you been? I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Mm. Jim Milton, that you? Yeah, why? I guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my idea. Yeah, sorry, why did I say why? We didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope. West of Blackwater. Mm-hmm. Kind of a farmer now. <laughs> Long story. Well, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and... You're a bounty hunter? Good and bad. So you're a bounty hunter now, huh? Grieving widow to ruthless bounty hunter. That's a fitting, that's a fitting character development for you, Sadie. I'm proud. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Well, bounties are kind of legal. It's legal, I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. That's all. Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What okay. Do do? Rob a bank. Ah. With a gun? No, with a pen. Hey? Eh? An accountant, I think. So he robbed the bank from the inside. Huh. Come on. So. We got a bit of a. Yep. A bit of a ride. Let's go. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's mm. something else. What? What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Where is he? We always say it. If we found him. I'll be wanting to slit that bastard's throat after what he did to half and the others. I should have left into that. I should have left him at that cell in Strawberry a long time ago. I didn't think I'd see any of you again. I didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. Long story. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle, well, getting a scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Scalped. Sometimes I think the same. You mean the Skinner brothers? I heard that I seen a documentary of them, but nothing else, really. Never really encountered them, but I seen their work. Arrows everywhere. Jesus. They pick quite a punch, don't they? Pack quite a punch, I mean. So, what do you think we can find this bounty of yours? You can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. Thanks. I'll meet you in a bit. What's that? Hotel. Let's see if some maybe the bounty isn't staying in there. You, uh, 
You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. I mean, a bald one recently. I'm a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Long story. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. Thank you. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. Mm hmm. How exciting. Thank you very much. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? You're under arrest. Oh shit! That's Nathan Kirk! Sadie, after him! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! You're a good Philly. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive! I know! I see him. I have him in my sights now. Oh, jeez. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Nathan, come. You're under arrest. Well, you're on, you're on a capture. Oh, jeez. Oh, ha ha. Very. Very, 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 ah, oh, shit, fuck. Come on, come on, boy. Ah, shit. Should have seen that tree trunk. Stump, I mean, tree stump. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Uh, you're under arrest this time. I know. And this time he's not escaping my sights. Right, or speed up as fast as you can. Go as fast as you can. Yeah. Right, you come over us. Don't hold any resistance. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man. But it's all a mistake. My wife. My wife is a is a desperate woman. Hey. What now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. Sure. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I've Thanks. Been pretty bad, so. See you later, Sadie. I'll come find it's good. You. It's good to see you again once more. That's what uncle has now. But, wait, what's this? 
Eh. I guess it's that bounty from Sadie. Wait, hold on. I want to check something. Ah, Baba. Might as well go give, give, the, give John's beard a trim. It's getting bushy. And besides, he wants to look posh and neat for if Abigail and Jack return. Sorry. Sorry about that. I accidentally, uh, you know. <sighs> I think that's charge enough. My apologies. I just accidentally pulled on the charge you gave home the PS from the PS4. Again. Sorry. Let's get back. No, no trouble. Just going to trim. Hi there. Come on in. Gonna get this trim as well, so facial hair trim. Yeah, that's better. Ah, look all smart and everything.
Uh, this is my property, actually. Well, not really your property, but still. Hold on. What is it? I'm going. Where are you? Now oh, there you are. Wake up! Wake up, you lazy elf! Stop doing using that as an excuse. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. I'll oh, get up already. Oh, I, I, I'm getting up. Oh no, what, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and oh, I, got, I got a little drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Why? Charles. Wait, what? Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. You found him? Really? really? I, I reckon. I mean, last time I saw him, he was with the Indian tribe, but is he alive? He's not doing too good, neither. Oh, shit. If he's in trouble, then let's go help him out. Why didn't you say so from the beginning? Charles? It, if, it's, is he really alive? I mean, last time I saw him, you know. I just hope that the Indian tribe is okay as well, so I might as well ask him about what had happened. <sighs> what's he doing? What's he doing in San Denis? The Indians living there now? Oh, speaking of Indians, what do I have to rain for on the others? What? I mean, ever since he lost his son. Thank you very much, Dutch. Back in San Denis. Man, this, like this, place. this brings back bad memories. Me Rest neither. in peace, Jose and Lenny. No, no. How do you know where Charles is? He was a very good man, and a very good friend too. I'm glad he didn't die. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Don't go drunk. Uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Yeah. How did the horse? How did my horse get here? Did it follow us? Huh. All right, come on, come on, girl. Let's go. Saloon is the best info. Oops, sorry, sorry, that was so close. Hey, you know who? Charles is a boxer? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Hey. He's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Oh, thanks okay, thanks. No problem, bud. What's Charles doing as a boxer?
so fast. Lord, I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Folks Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. <laughs> and you are a killer. Charles! We both know what you gotta do. Leave it's good to see you again. He don't know the half. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> How you been? That's uncle? Yeah. How you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... What is it? I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Why that? I thought you were with the Indians, you know. And you like that? Of course not. So, eh, what can you do? You gotta have to make some money. Let me go place a bet. Come on. Sure, I'll bet with ya. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Me too. Abigail's still alive too, only she left me. Long story. Excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about okay. you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. I, I know I Charles is gonna win, so? Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle. Between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. A savage, the untamed, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable. What are you doing as a boxer, Charles? How this works? No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a child everything else goes you win by knockout you win by retirement or you win by death let's have a good fight boys let's keep it clean but not so clean go for it Charles I would I would pretend he was Micah Do it, Charles. Finish him. And there you go. Boom. Fit brutality. Well done, Charles. Come on, Lone Wolf. Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. Why, well, thank you. We just made the bed. I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. Me neither. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. <laughs> I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river before I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside saying the name. Oh, oh, come on, Uncle. A few earns a run. Don't go drunk. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Uh, so, how you been, Charles? I thought you were with the Indians, you know? I keep saying that. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out, gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. Oh, Miss Grimshaw, I totally forgot about her. She was the mother of the group, and now she's also in peace. May, may her soul be in peace. Yeah. That's where he would have wanted to be. The pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. Hmm. gave me a satchel. Well, some of his in it. I believe it contains Mary's win as well. Journal, he always drew in. I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Mm-hmm. Sick like that has to rattle a fella. Yeah. Okay. 
Give him some kind of understanding. I guess it was a lot to hear you were saying. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. Yeah, that's all right. The same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? I haven't Maybe. seen him ever since that sure. conversation on the mountain. All kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. Mm. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. Sadie's got something on him. Dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Yes. Well, the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, he was a rat all along. Strauss. Really? The agents made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. I never said a word. He may. I uh, thank God he wasn't a rat. Ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? No. I mean, I think ever since Blackwater's poached heist, Micah was the start of it. He was against Danfall. I think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for. Okay. Uh, hold on. What is it? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? Hey? He. Uh. He used to work for Angelo Bronte. Uh oh. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Can we help you, gentlemen? Uh, come over here. Why? What now? Well. You go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. three. Fight! Oh! You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's not just one fight. Evidently! Yeah, now we got one of the stuff. Grab your bag of Charles, we're getting out of here now. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Come on, let's go. Quickly! All right, I'll hold him off. Ah, crap! I don't have my gun. I don't have my gun. Well, I have my revolvers, but still. Uh, they break outside the bridge, I think. Quickly! They're searching for us. Let's get out undetected. Ah, uh, there's some coming up, uh, up towards us. Careful. <sighs> Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of dying, at least. Mm hmm. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. Ah, crap. We won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get the shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. Glad to you have changed as well. I think we're clear. Oh, let's hope so. I want to go back. Remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Mm-hmm. Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, look who it is. All right, you come on. You're heading back with us. You boys been all getting up to no good. Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well. They weren't very good shots. They were very good oh, shots, Uncle. <laughs> you want to stay with us at Beach's Hope? How long will this take? I know I mentioned my Sadie Adler. Gonna get some money, but first, let's see what Uncle has. 
Alright, I see we gotta tear down this shack. Good to have you with us, Charles. Uncle? Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> Kinda. Good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just well, hope mm. things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. Mm. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. Ha ha. Damn true. Now you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine. And all you do is be lazy and use lumbago as an excuse. I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. Yeah, yeah, I know. We need to fix that. In this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? Ha uh ha. -huh. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Agreed. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Your hands and reconstructing will do. I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> good idea. We good? I think so. All right, right, boys. Let's go. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. into town buy ourselves a house right out of a book same as if it were a bicycle where in town there's a fellow by the train station. cakes hardwood and timber okay you keep working here but if i don't go with you who's gonna just tell you need that? a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping <sighs> charles make him work whip him if you have to mm-hmm <laughs> Seriously? Okay. Give a noise. Speaking of the house, we need to pay off that debt. Let's see what city has. Stay home. Yo. The last end of the world. We only buy it. Sadie? Hey! Hello, Sadie. Oh, John! <laughs> Come sit down. You okay? Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Are we were the ones who were the robbers. In this world, except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And 
Which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How's that? You, <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? No. Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. Jesus. In five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. Really? I'm bringing him in. I got robbed. I a professional rival of mine. Just oh, liked him. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north, so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Sure, why not? Pretty good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on. South, now, huh? We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. All right, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, All right, let's roll. Some by horses. Horses are cheaper. Uh -huh. He looks mean. He is. So. My ranch, it's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Yeah. Haven't had any trouble? Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? No. Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Yeah, it's Charles, really. You, er, want to talk about it? Yeah. Maybe, but Charles Smith. I mean, he's still alive, which I'm glad for. It was my favorite. Yeah, he was one of my favorite characters, and he still is. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. How did he get be there? Is beyond me. He took everything real hard, but I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. Mm -hmm. I always liked Charles. You send him my best. Me too. I will. It was a kind man. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Really? And the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. Mm -hmm. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. Oh, you'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look. What happened with the game changed everyone who was a It was all because of Micah. When I got my hat blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. Agreed. And now he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. I think I agree with Say's opinion because of Micah turned him into the person he now was meant to be. It's all Michael's fault that the game fell apart. And when I get my hands on him, I'm gonna kill him for what he did. For what he did to Arthur. Agreed. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. I blame Micah for everything. And when I get my hands on him, I'm gonna strangle him to death. We'll do so many things. Oh, hit him right in the nuts. That would be so good. Hit him right in the ball sack.
<laughs> oh, that is painful. <sighs> Baba Black Sheep. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. Got it. We aim to have Langton give him back to us. Oh, we take him by force. Him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Blackwater now. I think this these locations were shown in in our Red Dead Nation 2. Yeah, yeah, that's Armadillo if I'm correct. Yeah, that is. So what do you want to do? Let's go take a look down in the valley. Armadillo. I've seen this town in the playthroughs, but now it's in Red Dead Dungeon 2 style. I see, yep. I see yeah, them. I have eyes on the targets. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. I don't see it. That big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. Let's go. Work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, Let's follow them. Let's go follow them. Ow, 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 Sorry. Let's go. Something in my teeth. Oh, yes, I got my weapons back at least. I guess I fully gave them to him. Here it is, my now we're talking, now we're in business. Should really maintain my weapons. They'll be coming through here. Oh wait a minute, I recognize this canyon. Wasn't this where we wasn't this where he had to do with the sheriff? I haven't actually played the game before and I but I seen the playthroughs. That's enough. Don't want to go over that butte. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You you're talking to me or like to sorry. I ain't used to having anyone with me. Really? How long how long have you been bounty hunting, Sadie? Yeah, 
pain. And that sure is Bane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? The rest of Langton's men, I think. So what do you, how do you want to play this? Well for how come you got? How come he's got all them men, and you work alone. I got you. You're worth ten of them. Fair point. Great. All right. So what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. But uh, it's your call. Hmm. Sneak it. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. No, no. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay. Yeah, I got very nice. Perfect. Let's go. Sorry. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Understood. Done. You got throwing up. Oops. There we go. Let's do this quick. Ah, crap. And they heard that. Oops. That way. Hold on. Gonna need to hide. That way. And then they shot the bounty. Wait, what? Ah, crap, I see him.
Johnny, Johnny Mean. Let's see what you have on you, boy. Don't put the snake oil. Perfect. Alright, you, you're coming with us. Let's go, girl. Here we go. I got this. What? Ah, Sadie died. Damn it. Again. How many men does he have? And how is he paying them? And how much bounties is he paying them? Go. There, that's dealt with. And we got ourselves the bounty. Sweet. Sorry. But that was a mission that was. Can we all go now? Yeah, we can. There'll be a book in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. Oh, I want to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Fine. Only if you. Oh! Horse, Sorry, that was meant to happen. I meant to press up. Now, I would, I would, you'll be treated to only if you shut your mouth. Still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. That doesn't make any sense. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Again. Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Agreed. Let me quiet. <laughs> That's it. How do work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with LinkedIn and his men gone.